Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. For those of you who do not know me, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you stopped by today. Today I'm doing another face-off video, but this time it is with my good friend Nikki from her channel Nikki Nami and I am super excited. I am also so nervous because Nikki is amazing with makeup and I just don't feel I'm up to her level. So we will see how I do in this round because I'm not so sure that my makeup looks gonna come out on top. So today we use three shades from the ColourPop My Little Pony palette. And there's three shades we use, and I'm just not going to say names because I feel like I'm going to mess this up. But this shade right here, which I think is called Blossom, and then this shade right here called Applejack, and then this one right here called Twilight. She gave me two shimmers and one matte. So, yeah. <laughs> well, if you want to see how I got this look, then just continue watching. And then, after you're done, go check out Nikki's channel and let me know who you think had the better look. I have not seen Nikki's look, and I would really like to. So I'm excited to see her look and see what she came up with with these shades. So, without further ado, continue watching to see the tutorial on this. Oh goodness I'm a dork well here we go we're using the ColourPop My Little Pony palette and the first shade we're going into is Applejack I believe is what it's called I'm putting that into my crease and a little above my crease this one took a long time to build up it is a very light shade but once I got it to where I wanted it it worked out well hmm now I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna use Oh, dropped the palette. I had to leave that in here <laughs> because, yeah. Then we're going to go into Twilight. And I'm going to be doing a halo eye with this look. And right now this looks kind of messy. Don't worry, I do go back in and I blend and I fix. And it, it doesn't end up looking quite as messy by the end of it. There I am going back and forth and fixing it. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Blossom and I'm going to put that right in the center. Ooh, look at that. That looks pretty. I really do like how this turned out. Um, it was a challenge for me to work with so many shimmer shades and not have more mattes. I am so used to working with way more mattes. So thank you, Nikki, for that challenge. I really do appreciate that. Sometimes I need to be thrown out of my comfort zone. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of going back and forth with the shades and I'm going to blend that blue twilight shade into that kind of golden blossom shade. And now I'm going to go in with the Ciate London Fierce Flix Eyeliner. The eyeliner that doesn't want to die. I don't know if you guys notice this, but when I'm using like a pen eyeliner, I truly have a harder time using these than I do that gel eyeliner. And that eye, I don't know what is with that eye. It always has issues. Like, it always pulls. It's always weird. Then I'm going to go in with the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Mascara. This is their Volume and Curl Mascara. And then I'm going to take Blossom, and I'm going to put that in my inner corner of my eye. I really kind of felt like making it really pop and having it in another spot. I just, I liked how it turned out and how it looked. Also, if you guys can hear the fan, I'm sorry. It needs to be on. It is hot. Then I'm going to go in with the Koki Velvet Smooth Eyeliner, and this is in their black. I'm just going to put that in my waterline. I really like these eyeliners, and I am hoping to get more from Koki soon. Then we're going to go in with the shade Twilight, and we're going to put that right on my lower lash line. 
Then I'm just going to put some mascara on, the same mascara I used from Wander Beauty earlier. And now we're going in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade is Teal. Because I have been wanting to use this lipstick for a while. I keep looking at it and I was like, ooh, this will work with this look. Now, mind you, you could do like a nude or a kind of soft pink with this. I think that would work too. You don't have to go as bold as I did, but sometimes it's fun to rock a bold lip. Oh, there, I messed it up. Ah, so I've been wanting to kind of leave more of my quote unquote mess ups in videos because I'm a real person. My videos are never as perfect. And I do that quite a bit with lipstick. So I'm just trying to keep it real. Oh, and then I blocked the camera. Oh, goodness. The thing is, is even though it looks like I'm taking a long time to put this on, it's pretty opaque. It's more me trying to get the shape of my lip. Okay, you ready for some awkward posing? Here it goes. Here goes Danielle. Oh, there it is. The beginning of the awkward pose. But I do really like how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It means so much to me. Um, please go check out Nikki's and just, just go check her channel out. She is awesome. I'm super excited to be doing these types of videos, these space off videos more because for me, it's just, it's a lot of fun, but I also get to show off my YouTube friends and their amazing makeup skills. So it's been a lot of fun so far. I know this is only the second one I've done, but I can't wait to do many, many, many more. And yeah, so please go check out Nikki's channel. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It does mean so much to me. You guys don't even know. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and bye!